Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Dr. Dan Purser, Dan Purser, uh, MD.com. Here for my famous, I'm going to call this the famous Dr. Purser's famous fatigue Facebook Live. Kind of messed that up, didn't I? Okay, so let me say it again. Famous fatigue Facebook Live and thyroid free for all. What What did you say a second ago? Thyroid questions. Oh, I like thyroid free for all because it kind of is. Um, First, just really quickly, because I know you guys like me to get to this. So ongoing sales, you ask for them constantly, so here they are. Um, buy one, get one bottle of our MTH Fire Support. A steal. How will we eat? Um, <laughs> so if Provo gets quarantined, shut down, I will. we will starve to death and because we sell, you I thought you thing. had food storage downstairs. Okay, a little. Have we have a little. Some so. corn or something. We have some corn. Corn. Did right, you no, no. Sit? You have a year supply of camel's milk, dried camel's. Well, milk, yeah, right? something like that. Just kidding. Yeah, your mom's in charge of a chocolate camel milk. <laughs> okay, fifty. So buy one get one free of our MTH first support at mm-hmm. www.physiciandesigned.com. Do I have to say that www? Not necessarily. And no. also the coupon code for when you're going to purchase it at the it's after so you do. Oh, now you're telling me there's a coupon code. <laughs> when you click check out, you go to like your cart and you click check out, and then on the right hand side there'll be a coupon code box. You type in Bogo twenty twenty. Bogo twenty twenty. So B O G O B O G O twenty twenty. Got it. Okay. Also fifty dollars off our foundation. <laughs> our foundation methylation kit. Which makes it what? One ninety nine. One ninety nine. You can't get your nails done for that in L.A. By the way, in Los <laughs> Angeles, I, I don't know about Salt Lake. Have either. you tried? No. <laughs> no. Just kidding. I have a grinder out in the garage. <laughs> get rid of those one down. Yeah, I do the manly manly nail removal <laughs> or pliers. <laughs> okay, so so um. That foundation methylation kit or either genetic kit is super simple to use, too. You just swab inside each cheek, 30 seconds each side, put it back in a little container. We will have to write your name on all that, fill out the container, the label, so the package will be open, but not the two won't be separated. So you're safe, please. Um, And then we ship it to you, and then you do all that. You put it in the little mailer that's included, and it goes down to Austin, Texas, 10 days later. I know your results. Yeah, and make sure you guys are closing your tubes up completely yeah. because sometimes it doesn't close all the way uh, and they'll dry out. Shove it in there. Yep. Yeah, don't let it dry out. Yep. Um, huh, two days later, I can tell you all about your methylation and fatigue errors and cure your life. Get, make you completely better forever. So, wow, well, wow. I don't know about that. That sounds awesome. At least on the pathway to getting better. <laughs> so, okay, Spectre. So, this is the big one. Yeah. Spectra Cell and Pro 7 Genetic Kit, our ultimate genetic kit, when purchased together, includes a free 30 minute consult with me. That's a big deal. So let me get this straight. You're giving me away, <laughs> but not the kids. Yeah, you're free. <laughs> that's comforting. <laughs> no, that's a really no, that, good way to get started with you, though, because it kind of is. Covers everything. Yeah. Oh, no, everything about you, because mm-hmm. it covers 99. Okay, maybe 93% of the problems you might yeah, have. totally. So, um, okay, the moment you've all been waiting for. Da, 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 da. That's me playing music. Okay, so <laughs> cause of fatigue. Why are you so tired all the time? Um, this is that soul-sucking tire, too. Not just like, I need to go take a nap. This is like, naps don't help. Sleep doesn't help. You feel horrible all the time. So... Uh, do you know the definition of chronic fatigue syndrome? I don't, actually. So chronic fatigue syndrome, or CFS, as it's popularly called, uh, syndrome means that doctors don't have any clue what's causing it. So there's no known cause for this syndrome. Yeah, really. Um, chronic fatigue, it me, chronic means it must be more than six months, and nothing's helped with it. And so that's the syndrome. The 15 doctors you've seen... Before me, doesn't know the cause, but we'll figure out the cause. So, so what's the number one cause of um, a fatigue in my practice? I know. Yeah, it's on. I, yeah, it's on my. No, don't tell them. 
Do you know what it is? It's vitamin deficiencies, right? It is. It is. Um, so what's the number one vitamin deficiency I see every week? Oh, I would say B12. It is. I see about five of those or six of those a week. I, if not more, It's right? the great mimic. It, it mimics so many other diseases, and the patient's like, yeah, I've got this rare condition that they diagnosed me with at Johns Hopkins or Mayo or my university hospital. I'm like, really? And then I find out they have a B12 deficiency. I'm like, you probably don't have the other condition, but this can be, and it's not, you're not going to die from it, though you feel like you might. You're probably got, I mean, clearly you've got a bad B12 deficiency and uh, you need to treat it. And I'll even go injectable. It's got to be the methyl B12 or I get them on, I try and figure out their genetics and get them on the right path. I get them, I move quickly on it. Yeah. Um, so B12 deficiency can cause gut problems, immense fatigue, ataxia, vertigo. Um, What's ataxia? Meaning you can't walk right. Ooh. A vertigo. Um that you can't explain. They go, oh, you got benign positional vertigo. No, you think of B12 deficiency. Uh, various neuropathies and neuritis, weird tingling, um, and uh, paresthesia, paresthesias in your feet and hands, stuff like that. Uh, weird symptoms, a bunch of really weird symptoms. Often misdiagnosis, other things. It's so easy to treat a B12 deficiency, but to know for sure we got to do a spectra cell because they'll do serum levels and your B12 might be really high, but your intracellular might be really low. Why is that? Why can't I pick it up on spectra cell, but maybe well, not in the serum? isn't it not getting to the right places so it's floating around? So is what's floating around? Certain vitamins. Vitamin, what kind of B12 vitamins floating around? Why can't it get into their cells? I don't know. It's just not the right one that they need. To right. Process. It's cyanocobalamin okay. usually. Mm -hmm. And someone's been giving them shots of it or they've been taking vitamins with it. And it floats around in there kind of forever. Yeah. People with MTH4 and other methylation disorders can't absorb cyanocobalamin or B12 made with cyanide properly. It's why you're using Young Living or doTERRA or, or coming to me or having fatigue because the, the B12, you need the methyl B12 is not getting into your cells. And then the cyanocobalamin is floating around in your bloodstream and your, your doctor checks your B12 level and it's super high. He's like, wow, no, you don't have a deficiency. You've got a super high level. It can't get into your cells. It's going to keep floating around for many years until you gradually get rid of it. Um, what about people who do show up that they do have a B12 deficiency? Is it just... And it's not just floating around in their body, but they. Yeah, almost, that's bad. They that's need to have that dealt with. Yeah. Yeah, and they, she's a methyl B12. So clearly. Yeah. It could be a denosyl or hydroxy B12 they need to. That's why you look at their genetics. Yeah. That's so my figure favorite. It out. Yeah, and then you look at the spectral, the combination will tell me. Mm -hmm. Lack of B12 will cause low hormones. It's the number one cause of ovarian insufficiency I see in my practice. Ovarian insufficiency. Good nutrients in equal good hormones out. So what will I've been preaching that for a couple months now? Insufficiency do. You'll see a twenty-four year old girl with really low hormones. She's also got horrible fatigue, but she's got low progesterone, low estradiol, or she's twenty-eight or thirty-two or thirty-five, and they're going. You're going to go into menopause, and you premature menopause. You've got ovarian insufficiency. They don't know the cause of it. You should run screaming and order this Pro Seven and this. Well, at least the foundation methylation and the um, and the uh, spectra cell. We'll send you the box. It has a tourniquet, some needles, stuff like that, so you can have someone in your upline, downline church, your d dentist, your veterinarian, your doctor, maybe a lab near you. I'll also include a prescription, so you can go get it for a prescription for mm -hmm. a blood draw, and you can go get it done at your local and lab. And that's for the spectra cell. For the spectra cell, it's just two tubes of blood. Mm -hmm. You hand them, so when you hand them the prescription at a lab, I would advise you to attach a five or ten dollar bill to the back of it, because <laughs> it's a tip for the phlebotomist. Otherwise, they'll be like, "Why? Why should I do this?" <laughs> um, so um, anyway, it really helps, and we'll get you that. And then ten days to thirty days later, we got to figure it out. And this soul sucking 
ground crawling fatigue you've had for the last 12 years goes away. So no, you don't have cancer. Well, hopefully your doctor's ruled out cancer. I can't do that with that little genetic test on a spectra cell, but okay. So, so um, why do you think they get a B12 deficiency? Well, like you said earlier, I can guess. I would think it'd be genetics, like you said. Number one. Yeah. Um, also, I see a lot of gut meds, meaning protonics, prilosec, omeprazole, Zantac, or, or Tagamet even. They all block your ability to absorb B vitamins. So if you've been on something for reflux or GERD for many months now, and you've got horrible fatigue that's come on those many months or years or whatever, it's because you can't properly absorb B vitamins taking those and you have a methylation problem on top of it. So you need a lot more B vitamins than the normal human. You just can't get past it. So somehow we got to heal your gut first, which we work with all the time. And then you get off those meds. They also cause liver cancer. We know last year, those studies got, they're horrifying. Yeah, um, really scary. And, um, and then you get off those meds and then we get you on the, we know your genetics, we know your vitamin deficiencies and we get you healed and get that garbage behind you. So there is really, those meds are kind of scary now. Yeah. So, um, you know, omeprazole or, or Nexium or, or any of those, it's just bad news. So also poor eating habits. Maybe you decided to become a vegan or vegetarian. Sounds all good, but if you have MTHFR and other genetic methylation errors, it's not going to work. Not unless you take a, a, a boatload of B vitamins every day with it. Yeah. Thus, Super B or Master Formula, whatever you can take that has a lot of B, the proper B vitamins in it. Those do. I helped design all those. So. Yeah. And uh, does Super B have B12 in it? That's good. Yep. Cool. Methyl B12. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I designed it. I reformed it. I, well, I helped reform it. I got to say that. So, pregnancy also. If you're pregnant and really tired and fatigued all the time and you've had that baby and you've got horrible postpartum fatigue and depression and all that, you probably have methylation problems. What's a giveaway for genetic errors that you can't properly absorb B vitamins? You can't tolerate birth control pills. They make you crazy. Or you, when the prenatals you took when you're pregnant made you throw up, made you sick, made you vomit, your doctors didn't believe you. They thought it was hyperemesis gravidarum, the preg you know, the vomiting of pregnancy, mm -hmm. and it wasn't. It's a B, it's the cyanocobalamin made with cyanide and the folic acid. You can't tolerate it. Yeah, you can't them. process it. So the number two thing I see most commonly causing fatigue after all that, that's really number one. That's kind of a big number one, but yeah, what do you think it is? Oh, um, you know, because you're reading the, what I I'm my notes. I'm looking at your notes a yeah, little. Yeah, it's anemia. Well, did you mention like... Um, Poor eating habits can also affect your yeah, B12. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Going just... vegan, going vegetarian, yeah. poor eating habits, eating, so, eating Cheetos and chili dogs. That's probably not good for you. How dare you? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so someone said, what if you're vegan? What kind of B12 can you take? Because B12. Super B, Master Formula, our MTH4 Support, our MTH4 Support Plus. Mm -hmm. uh, Thorne makes some really good products on Amazon, stuff like that. Yeah. So. And do you tend to see that this is across the board for men and women? Yeah. The B12? If they have the methylation problems. Yeah. Or they take the 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 gut meds like yeah, omeprazole, tagamet, xanta, yeah, vanidity and all that. Um, so, yeah. So, anemia, but mostly from iron deficiency. Uh, mostly from iron, sorry. Should I move this closer? I'm leaning back. I'm relaxing. I'm cogitating. So... <laughs> Okay, um, iron deficiency, uh, but it can also be from a B vitamin or B12 deficiency. So I see two really common anemias. And they're diagnosed, especially iron deficiencies, that you can't absorb the iron. If you've been taking IV iron and having to do all that, and you've got, you, you can't just absorb the ferritin or iron properly, then guess what? You probably have a bad B12 a riboflavin or a thiamine deficiency. If you have any of those, you can Google all this. Of course, always double check everything I say, but you can't properly absorb iron. Did you know that? No. B12, thiamine, riboflavin, 
I keep seeing patients with that in my office. Yeah. There's some of you out there who are following me who've had that, and we figured it out. And you couldn't absorb the iron because you can't. The, it piggybacks in on the thiamine or riboflavin or B12. And if you have any of those deficiencies, you won't absorb the ferritin or the iron. So you have an iron deficiency, but it's really caused by a riboflavin, thiamine, or B12 deficiency. Once again, the spectra cell. Once again, get you properly treated. Once again, figure out why you can't absorb those vitamins, why you have a deficiency in it. That there goes your genetics. Now you guys know why I do all this stuff all the time. It's not it's not saying bill you stuff and make money and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I mean, it pays my bills, but it's more for it answers the reasons why, once and for all, why you've got these problems. And you can get on with your life. Call me later if you need me. Otherwise, you're good. Yep. I teach you the path. I teach you the way. Go and fly, little bird. Go and fly. <laughs> Go and fly, little bird. <laughs> right. So, um, yeah, so if you have a thiamine, riboflavin, or B12 deficiency, you won't absorb iron. So watch for that. Well, what is a B12 anemia called again? Pernicious anemia. Do you know why it's called that? I don't. Because they haven't been able to figure out how to get rid of them. Giving B12 doesn't get rid of it. Why giving B12 injectables doesn't get rid of it? I've given it away earlier. What are they actually giving them? The wrong thing. The wrong kind of B12. <laughs> They've done it for 50 years, 100 years, and they call it a pernicious anemia because they're giving you the cheap Here, injectable wait. crap, the, the cyano. People are commenting, like spamming. I'm sorry, guys. Go. Okay. Can you hear me all right? Can you give, give us information, give us feedback? Okay, why is a B12 deficiency classically called a pernicious anemia? Why do you, so what's the word pernicious mean? Was it... Not, I forget. <laughs> Pernicious means it can't be cured. It just yeah. hangs around. It's an anemia that they can't fix. So they're giving cyanocobalamin shots to all these people with, not everyone gets pernicious anemia. So who's getting the pernicious anemia? People with genetic errors like MTHFR, they can't absorb cyanocobalamin. Are we coming through all right now? Does I'm it look like we are? Loud changes. and clear. Okay, so um, so the pernicious anemia can't be cleared up, and it's this constellation of symptoms that really occur. It's weight loss and fatigue, and uh, and gut problems like crazy, and um, neuropathy, and and I mean I get patients who weigh ninety three pounds in my office, and they've had two decades of pernicious anemia, and no one's known how to treat it. Are you kidding me? I mean, all they have to do is Google some information on it. Um, the doctor couldn't um, should know it's MTHFR. It's like NAFLD, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, or fatty liver, or also called NASH, non-alcoholic st uh, steatohepatitis, always caused by MTHFR. Crazy. So, and no one ever diagnoses the fatty liver disease properly. And uh, to be honest, I've missed some cases in the past. I won't now. No. So, um so, um, what's the most common genetic error you see related to that? MTHFR or methylation problems. That's what causes yeah. it. So, the number three most common cause of fatigue is lack of hormones. There could be in menopause, they could have vitamin deficiencies. Um, again, MTHFR, stuff like that causes the, the, the blocking the vitamin deficiencies or what? going for now okay we'll i'm gonna going keep now. going i'm sorry watch for the replay uh we don't know why it's doing it must be a lot of people on facebook live tonight yeah so um so um it's vitamin deficiencies or they're actually menopause occasionally i do get premature menopause or ovarian insufficiency so it happens what about so. menopause I no, I <laughs> don't believe in that. If men have low testosterone and low sex drive, it's because they have vitamin deficiencies or they have damage or they have pituitary trauma. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things. It's not natural because I've seen a man who is 85 with a 1250 total testosterone level. I've seen lots of men in their 60s and 70s 
with a thousand plus testosterone levels, not on anything. Yeah. They just lived really good lives. So, um, the number four cause of fatigue I see. Maybe adrenal fatigue? No. <laughs> adrenal fatigue, I've been over this for fatigue is fatigue. I know. Adrenal fatigue is just fatigue. So, um, you've got vitamin deficiencies or genetic errors or something. You can't handle the stress. Well, what's the number what's the stress vitamins? What are stress vitamins? Stress vitamins. Yeah, what are considered stress vitamins? Um, I guarantee the crowd knows. What are they saying? Let's see. It's kind of delayed always a little. <laughs> B vitamins are stress vitamins. So how come? Why are they known as stress There's vitamins? Just historically have been. It's just a nickname they picked up over the decades. They were called that when I was in medical school uh, 30 plus years ago. So um, stress vitamins. Why can't you absorb stress vitamins? What have I been preaching for the you last can't six months? Them right. You cannot process them correctly. Oh, they you, knew it. They were saying they knew it was the vitamin Bs. I gotta go do my homework. So, um, so B vitamins, you can't absorb them right because you have MTHFR or some other methylation condition. Like our foundation methylation panel checks for thirteen different methylation errors. Those are all the ones we can do stuff about. And like our MT to our support or support plus is designed to deal with all those those errors, go around them. Yeah. So all you can do is work around the errors, so the genetic errors. So um, so the number four cause of fatigue I see is hypothyroidism, mm. which is really what a lot of people pro probably want me to talk about. What causes that? Uh, poor medical treatment usually. Like what does that mean? <laughs> means they've been properly, somewhat pro properly diagnosed, maybe, um, maybe not, and they got inadequate thyroid hormone treatment. What's the root cause of the problem? That's what you're all about, right? Vitamin, it could be a zinc or selenium deficiency. It could be B12 deficiency. Remember, good nutrients in equal good hormones out, and thyroid is a master hormone. It's really critical that your thyroid's good. I like to see a thyroid above 3.5, like 3.5 to 4.2. The closer you are to 4, the better it is. Which level is that? The free T3 and okay. FT3. But most doctors don't even know to get an FT3. Yeah. And you also may not be properly converting from free from T4 to T3, but that's how you check. You check a, F, a free T4, FT4, and an FT3 and see if your free T4 is very adequate or high and your free T3 is low, there's a problem. Yeah, definitely. Um, and so it could be a zinc or selenium deficiency, also blocking your conversion of free T4 to free T3. So free T3 is what warms your hands, your feet, um, thickens your hair, uh, moistens your skin, so you have a dry skin, gives you energy. Free T4 is what, is what affects your brain. It gives you gets sort of brain fog and stuff like that. You've also got to always take ubiquinol, 200 milligrams. I like that design for health, coquinol, 100 milligram. Um, and if anyone ever wants that, call me or can get some from my office. It's probably mm -hmm. the best one out there I've decided now. But anyway, 200 milligrams of ubiquinol, a good quality ubiquinol, every day when you're taking thyroid is mandatory. Or you'll end up getting weird fatigue even though your thyroid, your free T3 is 4.1 and your, and your free T4, FT4 is... 1.7 or something. Yeah. So um, the the thing I need to always ask first, if, do they have cold hands, cold feet? If they have cold hands, cold feet, uh, like we named our book, No More Cold Hands, Cold Feet. <laughs> uh, we did that for word search capability, by the way. I know it's a weird name for a thyroid book. It's well, not very medical. but It's funny because right when you said that, there was a comment that came in from Heather saying, my hands in fear are always cold and brain fog is huge. Yeah, you're so. probably hypothyroid, or you have, yeah, but low vitamins will affect all that. Mm -hmm. So what is the real root cause? Do you have Hashimoto's? Do you have Graves' disease? What, do you, what the heck do you got? Yeah. You got uh, thyroid peroxidase antibodies? What's going on? Or do you, is your thyroid damaged? Um, is your pituitary damaged? That's what needs to be looked at. Yeah. So improperly. But usually you get those panels. It's very easy to get a complete thyroid panel and cheap on your own, even if your doctor won't do it. Through direct labs. Mm -hmm. Go to dampersonmd.com, go under testing, 
and look for that direct clubs button and they have 1300 draw sites nationwide order whatever test you want but i'd look at their thyroid panel it looks at tpo antibodies it looks at everything ft4 ft3 tsh everything it's it's properly designed so yeah. um how did doctors not do that i don't know but they do so um so why why do you think zinc selenium b12 deficiencies cause hypothyroidism or low thyroid production any ideas because it's just not processing right Your that's body? kind of a vague answer but <laughs> so so thyroid is thyroid hormone is both a seleno hormone selenium based hormone and a zinc based hormone and zinc receptor and thyroid receptors need both of those to function as is the thyroid gland to make those b12 also is critical to all your hormones so yeah. yeah, if you have a B12 deficiency, you're going to be hypothyroid, you're going to be low testosterone, low progesterone, you'll have horrible PMS, just a bunch of weird stuff. It's all going to be piled up on you, yeah. and you're going to think you're cursed cursed by God when in reality you've got a B12 deficiency that's never properly been diagnosed. So, And remind everyone what kind of B12 they should be taking. Methyl B12. Not? Probably. Not cyanocobalamin. So yeah. methylcobalamin. Good. And like in Master Formula or like in Super B if you're a young living distributor. So um, so there can be other causes of fatigue, which are usually rolled out by the 14 or 15 other doctors you've been, these people have been to before they come to see me. Uh, like I saw a girl from Heber the other day on Friday, and she'd been to 14 or 15 doctors. I hear that all the time. And they're told the same thing over and over and over again. We don't know. We can't help you. We don't know why you're so tired. Take some. Here you have a Adderall deficiency, <laughs> or you have a Prozac deficiency. I love that one. Um, <laughs> no, you don't deficiency. have a Prozac or Adderall deficiency. Get a Spectra cell. It could be cancer. It could be heart disease, a viral condition, or some other chronic medical problem. But I'm sure those doctors. And what I, usually I go through the labs and. All that information you bring to me, and I, they usually have done all that. So, but you can check a lot of that with just a plain CBC. Am I still cutting out? No, I think we're doing good. It's because I'm talking really fast. Yeah. <laughs> um, remind, I know you just said it, but we've gotten a couple of times. How can they test for their vitamins? Get the either the Pro 7, uh, get that kit, get the, the free visit with me, and you order that deal pro seven and the spectra cell we'll know what's going on with you yeah there's no stone left unturned occasionally i'll, I'll actually get someone to get a a 23 and me just so i can look at some other weird stuff but that's a kind of complicated thing that takes two to three months to get all that back so um it's not a quick fix by any means yeah but that's in addition to what we've already got yeah. so cool so are you ready to start Asking me questions. Have there been any questions? Oh, yeah, there's been a lot. Really? Someone um, even thought up one? Wow, cool. <laughs> Ask away. So someone said, what if they're tired only after eating? And they uh, said they weren't eating like carbs. They said they were kind of eating both or like healthy. And I'd still want to look at their, their – I'd want to wonder if they're hyperglycemic or hypoglycemic or what's so going what on. So what test should they get? Uh, fasting insulin level. Okay. See where it is. Interesting. Maybe get a CBC and a CMP. That's all cheap. Yeah. Um, could it, you have a magnesium deficiency that's causing these problems? Yes. Magnesium deficiency, though, will almost always give you these horrible Charlie horses and leg cramps. I call them screamers, the kind you wake up in the middle of the night screaming and thrashing, trying to get out of your bed and stand on your foot because it's kind of like... <laughs> and you're like dying there and you know with your foot all twisted and torqued up yeah, yeah that's a charlie horse so from a charlie horse from hades is what that is <laughs> um what kind of coq10 brand did you recommend again i like i'm kind of switching over to the designs for health coq all you can get it uh call my office i'll send you a link or email me or text me or message me on facebook i try to get to those when i can um but if you t email my office, I'll send you the link. Um, it's easier on um, for design trial stuff, so you can not pay shipping, uh, and you get a lot cheaper than on um, 
Amazon. You didn't hear me say that, but if you, but I'll show you how to sign up so you can do all that. It's a physician only company, and they sell stuff, but they really mark it up on Amazon. So it's a lot cheaper, easier ways to get it, and it's very quality stuff. I know because we make several products for them. Yeah. Um, so someone said they're B12 deficient, and they're using, they're taking it sublingually, but they're wondering if they should take injections, if that'd be better for them. I don't know that you need to talk to their doctor or diagnose it. If they're not feeling good, you, these people need a lot of B12, and yeah. they, need, they need it for months sometimes. Yeah. I mean, it takes some of these people a year to get past the hell they've been put through by that B12 deficiency, which has gone on clearly many years before they've seen me. Yeah. And then just to let you guys know, we will be, this will be a replay. You guys will be able to watch in the sound should be clear and well, if it's cutting out for you guys now. Yeah. I'll, they up, didn't. I'll upload it as a completely new video okay. as well. So they didn't hear me sing the star spangled banner. To begin with. <laughs> I it. missed that part. What? <laughs> when did you sing that? Oh, see. No, I can't sing. Someone said it. Every time you say something really important, it cuts out. <laughs> so I think it's just us. We're just having fun with you guys tonight, huh? It's Facebook Live cutting me out. I, well, I'm listening to the live right now. I have two headphones in, two different audios coming in. Uh, from what I can tell, it's uh, it's something on the recording, just the processing end through Facebook. I don't know exactly what's going on, but we'll, hopefully we'll have it fixed for the next one. Otherwise, we'll put the real recording up after. Okay, yeah, yeah. So don't worry. I know you guys are missing information, but we will make sure that it gets to you guys. Yeah, because this is probably the greatest Facebook Live it's your famous in the history of medicine. <laughs> it's life-saving and amazing. So you got to have it. Life-saving. Um, how do you know if you have MTHFR and are unable to process the vitamin B? You get genetic testing. Really, you're talking about $199, really? Right now, it's on sale. For and it looks at all your methylation problems. Get the foundation methylation kit. Yeah, just go to danpersermd.com and just order it. It's really It'll go great. out. It's really for $199. And it's only 10 days for results instead yeah. of two months. And then, months. You can, then you can donate to the Dr. Dan Perser, starving MD, food starving food. doctor, thing uh, <laughs> he's not starving but, i know clearly <laughs> looking at me i'm definitely not starving but um but um yeah and then we'll i'll tell you what to take how to take it and i'll laugh at you if it's really bad i won't laugh <laughs> i'll just groan a little cool. Ooh, <laughs> just kidding um so someone was wondering could low b6 yes be a cause of seizures i don't yeah yeah Need some more information? Any of these low, any of these B vitamins or zinc or whatever, any of these, if they're low enough, can cause seizures. Yes. Yeah. You could die from these. I mean, I've had patients come in who thought they were dying or wish they would die. I mean, I saw one last week. She wanted to die. She felt so bad. So sad. And she'd been to, to a skazillion doctors, and they're all like, eh, I don't know what it is. Your tests all look normal. Man, and she's like, yeah, they do the same stupid tests every time. Well, yeah, they don't have the intracellular technology. Why they don't use it, I have no yeah. idea. It's not like I'm hiding any of this. <laughs> any of those guys could watch me and know what I do, but yeah. they don't care. No, it's sad. Uh, what do you do for your kids when they're low in these vitamins? Like, I don't feed them or let them take vitamins. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> You're one of my – wait, both of you are kind of my kids, are you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I I'm I figured all this out from my kids, testing them and torturing them, and uh, that's true. <laughs> and so they get all these vitamins. They take a lot more than than they want to take, probably. I think take I more. take thirteen pills a day. What do you? And you're like nineteen. I'm twenty three. Okay, well, I was close. I was nineteen when we started this all. So, um, how many MTH for support do you take? I a take day? four support plus a day, and I tried dropping down to two. And I was, like, so fatigued. That's how life would have been. I know. And I, I was still taking it, but I need that higher dose right now, you know? I, so I only have a few errors. I take half a tiny bite. I, t I have the one of each. Yeah, you're compound heterozygous. Yep, that's what I am. And you have a skazillion others. So. Thank you. Okay, no, I'm, I'm just sorry. kidding. <laughs> it wasn't from your genetics. but No. So for kids, you just address it the same way, right? Yeah. Because it's... Tiny bite. Yeah, tiny bite. Yeah. Like our like um, grandchildren we have who have these conditions, parents give them like a quarter of a tiny bite yep. every other day or every day. It's or, a good way to start. Yeah. 
And they'll wonder why they're seven and a half feet tall. I wish I was seven and a half feet tall. What happened? How dare you? I didn't figure this out until after you'd matured. You were like I 19. Know. I know. Yeah, or maybe you were 18. I can't remember. I was 18, yeah. Mm. When we found you caused this. me to figure this out because you kept being hypothyroid, and I could not figure out why you were hypothyroid. I know. That was crazy. Are you hypothyroid now? Nope. No. I'm cured. Well, I'm She's fixed. cured. <laughs> Another patient <laughs> pulled from the brink of death. That's his joke. He always says that to <laughs> anyone who feels better. He's like, you've been pre- pulled from the brink of death. Oh, yeah, boy. you were almost there, and I caught you. I was. And I was in Hawaii, too. You'd think I would have been feeling great. You went there because you were cold all the time. I know, and it, it helped. It definitely did. <laughs> um, so someone, this is an interesting comment. I don't know. They said their sister had a Chinese doctor tell her she has bad blood. She went through premature ovarian failure in her early 30s, and she's now taking ADD medication to help with chronic fatigue. Where should she start? Ah, uh, I think I've said it. Get the Spectra cell. And Pro7. And, the, and some or kind of genetic some. testing. Yeah, yeah, Pro7. Would help. Yeah, and then you get to talk to me for free because I'm of no worth, apparently. <laughs> You're just very generous, and you want to help people. Well, I'm telling them how to fix all this anyway. They don't even need to talk to me after they Yeah, no, they can just stuff. look at their results and be like, okay, that's fine, I'll take this. Yeah, I know what to take. It's yeah. easy. But it's I all spelled out. People like talking to you so you can laugh at them. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh at myself I more. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, someone says, what causes hot feet? That's an interesting question. Walking on lava. I've seen them do that in Hawaii. Did you ever watch that? Yeah, it'll do it. I didn't see that. Because hot know. feet. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, that was just an interesting question. I know um, my kids always slept with their feet out from under the blanket because their feet would get hot at night. I don't have that problem. Well, that's lucky for you. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going to drink some water. Can you be allergic to... B3. Why? Because it causes you to flush and turn Is that red. Niacin? And, yeah. Ah. That's why you think you're allergic to it. No, you'd be dead if you were allergic to it. Yeah. Um, no, you're getting a nice and flush, which are horrible. Which means what? It means you're eating too many carbs that day. Ah. So, and you can also take it with half a, with a baby ass from at the same time. I know. You, I know. It just caused everyone's heads to explode. In the Young Living Land, but um, <laughs> but yeah, that nice and plus sucks. I've taken two thousand milligrams a day. That was an interesting experiment. Yeah. No, yeah. it Good worked, times. but it was. Mm. Yeah. Um, this lady, she said her thyroid is perfect. She's on anxiety meds. She's starting premenopausal. I don't know. Um, she's forty-eight. A part-time preschool teacher, single mom. She has a nine and ten year old kid, but she's exhausted and she can sleep every afternoon for hours before getting getting her. So with a spectra cell, it will tell there lies your answer. It's probably gonna end up get I just do the spectra on pro seven if you come up with the money and, mm-hmm. and but otherwise start with the spectra cell. There's your problem and I can kinda of guess it from there. Yeah. Good good grief. That so I hear this stuff all the time. It's sad. Yeah. Have you ever been that tired in college and so? I was I remember I remember I thought I had chronic mono and I did have chronic mono, but I was literally I could come home and sleep all until yeah. the next day till school, you know, like yeah. I was so tired. But yeah. and that was before I was on anything, just because I wasn't addressing it. I get them. it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I've been worn out, but I can't, I'm worn out now. Apparently, I couldn't. Um, I couldn't. Um, I couldn't handle it. Yeah, it's. I hear it all the time, and I feel really bad for people. Okay. I know. Is it life threatening? Yeah, actually, kind it probably of, yeah. is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But most doctors, it's not on their radar. They don't even treat it. You're tired. Oh, take a nap. They'll give you some Ritalin or Adderall, yeah. unless it's a dark day when they do that. Yeah. So. It's not a root cause. Um, someone said twenty years of chronic fatigue, pituitary microadenoma. Is that a word? I don't know how to say that. Yeah. Nothing helps. What would they do if the cause is pituitary? What should they do? I did many years of pituitary endocrinology research. Yeah. I have to really talk to them and see what labs they got and everything else to know if it was pituitary microadenoma. And do you, that's where I learned to do these spectra cells was there. Because you can't differentiate that out. you got to see what their spectra cell is first. Interesting. Because if they have a bunch of B vitamin or other deficiencies, you've got to treat that properly. Mm-hmm. And then you can decide 
if that's because of their low pituitary output or their low hormones or their chronic fatigue. Yeah. You got to do a spectra cell first. That's what my friend who was the U.S. Assistant Surgeon General did. That's what I would do. Interesting. Makes Otherwise, sense. you're just making stuff up. You're guessing. Yeah. Yeah. Because a microadenoma yeah. usually, they're usually, uh, they're usually, um, prolactinomas and they usually don't do much they create a little pro extra prolactin but yeah um yeah nine about 98 percent of microadenomas are prolactinomas so interesting um when people have a consult with or when they get testing they have a consult with you right no one else yes <laughs> people are just wondering uh what's your recommendation for iron supplements I like Ferro again. I'm going to stick with my Designs for Health line. I like those guys. There's a lot of good ferritin supplements out there. I just tend to use Ferrocal. It's F. It's a chelate of ferritin, which I dearly love. Yeah, it's easy to tolerate. F e r r o c h e l. Uh, email us at info at danpersonmd.com if you want that link so you can yeah. get it inexpensively. But didn't you say also some iron deficiencies are caused by B12? B12 thiamine or riboflavin deficiencies block your ability to absorb iron. Yeah, so it could be those. You gotta, uh, gotta test it. Such a pain in the butt to do this right. So, oh, sorry. Can I say that on Facebook? Did you say pain well, in the butt? I said pain in the bud. Bud. Like you a can flower say bud. Because <laughs> flower buds are in pain. <laughs> or they are a pain. Well, they're about to open up and, and be beautiful. <laughs> like nice. a butterfly. Um, let's see. <laughs> See, getting lots of comments. We'll post a link to the testing. I'll go through all these questions and post links to things with Dr. Purser. We kind of tag team on that sometimes. What's the tiny bite? MTHFR Sport Plus. We design it for kids or people like me or people because uh, I have minimal methylation errors, but um, I still take half of one a day and the quarter one at lunch most of the time. Um, and man, does it help. If I miss, I'm like, oh, <laughs> um, that's just I'm a tiny bite. So a whole tiny bite chewable, they're all chewable. The tiny bite's chewable, um, is equal to half of an MTHFR support plus capsule. So MTHFR support plus capsule, it's equal to half of one of those. So I take essentially a quarter of a capsule and another eighth every day. So I take three mm -hmm. eighths. So it's kind of like the Snickers when you're feeling hungry. You should you eat just a take Snickers, a bite. But instead. Eat a mini Snickers. No. <laughs> another half of one. Take some tiny bite. <laughs> I did see someone too asked if uh, you designed a gummy for kids. We've tried. Uh, it's what a process. nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was just a flail on against that for lack of production i just don't get me going on that but <laughs> that's so we the do the chewable bite. yeah it's quite good it tastes really good yeah and kids like them even babies like them you can mash them up put them in applesauce they taste great mm -hmm. which is hard to do that with b vitamins don't put your copper balance in a rupert float it doesn't work <laughs> have you done that that's weird it was disgusting why are you she eating a rupert float <laughs> capsule and put it in there because she I didn't put, want to take the veggie cake. i was gagging on it that was when before i learned my trick that you tilt your head down and swallow and a pill. And then drink the root beer float and swallow <laughs> your pills. I was like, okay, I'm going to have a root beer float with my copper balance. And don't do that. It doesn't work. Hey, so so speaking of root beer floats, so May, are we going to do this? Oh, yeah. So we were kind of thinking, I know in the past. An week, afternoon in Epcot? Yeah, we were thinking in October, but now we're kind of thinking May for the Disney meetup with Dr. Purser. Disney World meetup for my fibromyalgia Can people. Can walk around the world and with Dr. Purser. fibromyalgia with natural options as people who've survived and cured their fibromyalgia. Or we're not, you can't cure it. You can just resolve most of the symptoms yeah. with natural options. It's How really does cool. the root beer float play into Epcot? Because everyone eats root beer floats as they walk around <laughs> Epcot. Or <laughs> other foods. <laughs> we should Giant. make a couple more posts about this as well yeah, outside totally. this video. Giant. Disney cupcakes or root beer That really helps the fatigue. I know it. I found second all in those bad boys does amazing things. We should make a B12 cupcake that you can eat instead of <laughs> taking a shot or something. <laughs> Sorry. I like sweets. Um, where can you find info to determine what kind of testing would be best for themselves and their family? 
my Facebook lives, so, my YouTube recordings. Yeah, you call my or email my office, and I'll guide you. Mm-hmm. Um, at info at danpersermd.com. Perfect. They always have me look at all those. If you say, "Here's what's going on. Here's the symptoms. What testing should I get?" You know what? I have a lunch break, and I use it answering your questions usually. <laughs> so, um, or if I have extra time, like I wake up at five o'clock in the morning and I'm bored. I'll answer Facebook questions. I so. would be bored at five o'clock in the morning oh, too. Man, sometimes I can't sleep. So yeah. So and people are asking about testing. So genetic testing, we can go basically anywhere because it's just a cheek swab, and it can go to Australia, Canada, all those kind of places. It's just got to be back after you swab it. By three make weeks. sure that it's closed. Yeah. Closed well three weeks. Yeah. So. That's get the it, only process. Get it back to Austin, Texas. Spectra cell you can get in some places in Canada. You just have to find the right. The draw sites have shipping places. You have to work with them. It's got to be at FedEx overnight yeah. to Houston. So it's it's a process. You can do it, but just know it's very difficult. Difficult. Genetics are much easier. If you come across the border yeah. to either Seattle on that side or Super easy, yeah. or somewhere in New York, yeah, and do it there and take it to the... The biggest problem with Spectra Cell, you got to find the right FedEx in your yep. zone. So they can overnight it. Like a, they're called hubs. Yep. Yeah. It's a little hard. Like there's one FedEx I can take to around here. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to see... Would B3 cause perpetual red cheeks? Not perpetual, but long. Some random be. little nice and So I take, I take, for right, when I take my 2,000 milligrams of niacin, whoa. That's because studies showed it caused plaque regression. Um, I would take it at night. I'd, I'd take it and go to bed and try and fall asleep. Yeah. I prayed I'd fall asleep <laughs> before it hit me. <laughs> this is <laughs> oh man the flush every once in a while I have to get up and I just get a cold shower <laughs> flushing was horrible you go stand in front of the freezer there's no hope uh, what could ca- cause low blood pressure is there a- there's so many causes okay that one's a little more um, yeah it could um, be just a genetic thing and it's just the way you're built can taking B vitamins B vitamins worsen your acid reflux? Sure. <laughs> Take them with food. Can Any vitamins can worsen your acid reflux. Yeah, that's true. Does MTHFR cause issues with getting sleep? Take them late at night, they could. Or just MTHFR in general. Oh, I thought you were talking about MTHFR yeah, sorry. support or support plus. Having the gene air. Yes. Having B12 deficiency, stuff like that. So the number one Probably the, maybe the number one or number two thing I hear from everyone who we start dealing with their methylation problems is they're sleeping much better. That's great. Oddly enough, you think they're like, I have so much energy, I don't need to sleep. That they, they say that, but they say, I don't need my naps like I used to. But now I sleep great at night. Yeah. Have you guys seen that, heard that? Oh, yeah. For me, 100%. Well, yeah. Yeah. It happens all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, why would someone feel sick to their stomach after taking zinc? Take it with food. <laughs> it can nauseate you. Yeah. I feel like a lot of vitamins can. Yeah. That's just a part of it. Well, your mom, give her anything. She starts gagging and throwing them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She Show them her the chin. method. That's how you take your pills. You <laughs> bend your neck down take, and then swallow with I don't with take water. it that way, but that's the way they take it. I do. It helps so much. Because they're taking literally handfuls of pills. Handfuls. So am I. So VARS, glutathione, if you have a glutathione deficiency, which we've diagnosed on your Pro 7, um, you, it'll be either you can't make it or you can't recycle it. You need to take it forever. Yeah. And so um, you take it five or ten minutes after you've eaten or drank anything or brushed your teeth or anything, and then at least 15, if not 25 or 30 minutes before you eat or drink anything again. Same thing. She, they can't hear me. Yeah. What's she saying? Same with like M T H F R. This genetics, they're forever. You can't change your genes. Yeah, it's not. not so it's something it. you're gonna have to take forever. And forever. I'll let you guys know. My 
I've been taking it for five years now, some version of it, and I've gone up and down throughout the years. Um, in my dosage, sometimes I was only taking one every other day. Right now I'm taking four a day because I need it. You know, it kind of just depends on how you are in your life right now, you know. I don't know. I guess I need more right now. You'd think with more activity you'd need more. Yeah. I haven't found that to be the case. Which is interesting. I know because you said I walked seven miles, but I don't need to take more. Didn't need to take more of it. Oh, a humble brag. I did eat. Seven miles. I did eat a bunch of cookies. So. <laughs> I guess that. Makes Dang it! <laughs> Why walk seven miles? Uh, would a teenager with ADD do well with tiny bites? I don't know. I'd want to see their genetics. There's a lot of reasons for ADD. Yeah. Pro seven is what you'd want to get, and I'll give you a good idea. Yeah, if they have if they have MTH4 or other methylation problems, and they have intracellular B12 folate pentothenate deficiency or everything, they're going to have a hard time focusing. Yeah. I have a hard time if I don't take my tiny bites. So. He just gets distracted thinking about Disney stuff. Yeah, that's it. We're trying to have meetings, and he's talking about Disney. <laughs> just kidding. Um, should teenagers go straight to MTHFR Support Plus, or would you say they could start on the MTHFR Support? I usually start everyone on the MTHFR Support. And then just kind of go from there. Yeah, when they overmethylate, um, we dial it down. And then on the MT4 support, and then we give them the MT4 support plus. They figure it out. Eventually, they figure it out how much they need of each long term. Yeah. In the beginning, you're going to need a lot more because you're filling a bunch of really bad deficiency holes. But later, you'll need a lot less because you're they're full, and you're just maintaining your energy and and keeping your vitamins full. Yeah. Um, just reading it out. boosts your immune system. It reduces your risk for cancer. It reduces your risk for stroke or heart attack. Uh, dealing with your methylation issues, genetic issues properly helps so much. Getting rid of vitamin deficiencies can help you in so many ways. You can't even imagine. What are the long-term issues that come along with MTHFR when you don't address it? I just said them all. Oh, well, I wasn't listening. You asked me the question after the fact. <laughs> Did I? Cancer, heart attack, stroke, increased risk. Um, talked to a gentleman the other day, had a stroke in his 20s. Um, just, in the, he had a homocysteine level through the roof and no one could figure out why. There's only one reason why your homocysteine level is high. It's, you've got bad MTHFR and methylation issues. So you can't absorb B12 properly in folate. Yeah. So you, you have a high homocysteine level. If you have a high homocysteine level, what's going to be low? Guaranteed to be low. I don't know. Anyone? Answers? Anyone? Anyone out there now? I will give you a free bottle of MTH4 Sport Plus if you can give Ask me the, the answer. Ask the question again. Okay. If you have a high homocysteine level, what is absolutely going to be low? Let's see. I'm waiting for answers. I know you've asked this before. I don't remember. I know. I can't. Okay, I'll answer. Okay. So no one gets it now. Wait, wait. Give them a couple more seconds. They're looking it up. They're trying to well, figure it out. Well, it's kind of delayed always a little bit. <laughs> okay. I would be Googling 100%. I don't know if it'll give me the answer. <laughs> okay, go ahead. So glu their glutathione production is going to be low. You ah. convert homocysteine directly to glutathione. And so glutathione is where you make your homocysteine from. It's either... Glutathione, which is incredibly beneficial, super antioxidant, or homocysteine, which is one of the most inflammatory, destructive things you can make in your body. Yeah. So it, one goes back and forth. They go back and forth. Go go Google the homocysteine to glutathione um, pathway. Uh, that's and, why people take NAC to try to boost glutathione levels, the N-acetylcysteine. Right, but it also helps lower your homocysteine, supposedly. But dealing with your methylation problems is the best way to create more glutathione and to get, reduce your homocysteine level. Wow. So, so that kid, or that whoever, I won't say who it was, but uh, clearly, but that, that gentleman, um, patient, um, yeah, they found our empty for sport and loved it. It's awesome. Can you have a normal homocysteine level and still have MTHFR? Yes. Yeah. 
Um, do you see any thyroid problems that come up after pregnancy? Or yes. No? So what causes that? All kinds. All issues. All the ones I've discussed tonight. Yep. It could be vitamin deficiencies. It could be uh, thyroid peroxidase antibodies. It could be uh, Hashimoto's. It could be... Who knows? Yeah. You just got to figure it out. Um, was there a specific reason for men the fatigue causes them just to sleep on days on end and they're still super fatigued? All the reasons I've said, yeah. usually bad vitamin deficiencies. You want to know, spend the money and get a spectra cell and get the foundation methylation yeah. and pay me for a consult and I'll tell you. You get, they don't think you have 15 minutes with the spectra cell anyway. Spectra cell, yep, 15 minutes. And then, but they need at least another 15 for me. I also have time to cover the foundation methylation. Yeah. That's a booger. But if you get the Pro 7 get with the Spectre free. Cell, you get a whole half hour with Dr. Right. Person, which is crazy good. Also um, help you, so you'll have a good idea what's going on with your kids. Yep. So. So this person said their hands and feet are never cold, and they've never had symptoms for thyroid problems, but they have heart, palpital heart palpitations, anxiety, um, and then their doctor just decided to diagnose them with hypothyroidism. What do you recommend for them? They said, huh? they said they've never had symptoms of hypothyroidism, but their doctor diagnosed them with that. So they had odd, they had unusual labs, I'm guessing. I'd probably get a spectra cell and see yeah. what minerals. And also, um, if you're on live, young living, use mineral essence. If you're not, there's a product by Designs for Health. Here we go again. Called, you now you know why I use these guys. Called Complete Mineral Complex. Take that. It could be some mineral deficiency. Uh, or it'll show up on spectra cell. And, you know, and also spectra cells often give me patterns that suggest genetic errors. Yeah, it all connects. Like B12 folate, pentothenate, serine, glutamine. If I see that come up, or even B12 pentothenate deficiency, pentothenic acid, um, I think MTHFR, always. Yeah. Um, so you know when we design... Master formula, we figured out kind of roughly that 85% of young living distributors have, because we had several thousand spectra cells I'd done on, on young living distributors. We whited out the names for privacy issues so we could use them in research and all the other identifiers. But um, we decided 85% of young living distributors had some kind of methylation problem or probably MTHFR. I don't know, that's a, a, probably shocking everyone out there, but it's why you guys are attracted to Young Living, I think. Yeah. So, because you can't handle normal vitamins. Remember, you can't handle the prenatals. You can't handle birth control pills, all that. Makes you crazy or makes you feel horrible because you can't properly break it down without those methylation capabilities. Do you want to remind everyone what kind of B vitamins they should be taking when they have methylation errors? Methyl B12, methylfolate. Or folinic acid, which is the precursor to folate in the most natural form of folate. Um, pentothenate, um, riboflavin, thiamine, all that. And is there like certain brands that you recommend? Well, I've suggested Super B if you're young living. I like Thorn, and if you've got MTHFR. Um, I like the Thorn Basic Prenatal, by the way. One of the best on the market. Um and um, Thorn Research, they're called T H O R N E, and I also like my stuff. So yep. we think we have the best products. And check the out the BOGO for the MTH Bar support. BOGO, buy one, get one. Yep, BOGO 2020 in the coupon code. So have I answered a lot of questions? Yeah, you've answered quite a few. Are there any of them I'm missing? We can always go back and kind of do it, but I was looking at the old one. Um. This is kind of interesting. What if you're thirsty all the time, but you're drinking plenty of water? Get checked for diabetes first. Yeah. Any doctor will tell you that. I doubt you have it, but... Always check. Always check. What's the best natural thyroid medication if you have to take it? Really? Do you have any... Nature thyroid, West thyroid, or, I don't know. There's a big debate about that all the time. Yeah. Do you have to stop taking your vitamins and supplements to get an accurate spectra cell reading? No. It looks back, out, though, over the previous 100 days. Yeah. So what you were 100 days ago is what's going to show so up. So keep track of what you were taking, right? 
Yeah, I'll ask because it's often evident when people are taking supplements. Yeah. I'll go, you're taking something. What are you taking? What, what would I be? You've been taking it three or four or five months. And they'll go, oh, yeah, I've been taking mass formula. I've been taking this and that. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Um. um. But that's where you, that's where the genetic information comes in because then you're like, well, yeah, but we know from your genetics you need master formula or you need thorn basic prenatal or whatever. You need this. So. Yeah. Or you need MTH4 sport. I'm glad you took it. So, so MTH4 sport. You start with the sport first. One a day, four a week, two a day, four a week, three a day, four a week, four a day, four a week. Keep going up. You keep feeling better, better, better. Hopefully, 99% of you will, or probably 95% of you. Um, and um, and then eventually you'll get really sleepy. You just overmethylated. Then back it down to, like, let's say you move from four to five, and that's when you overmethylated. Back it down to four. Then the next week start MTH4 Support Plus. Do the same thing with it. Go up, you might end up on three or four of those. And you'll be like, I got to take eight vitamins forever? No, mm -hmm. no. But in a few months, you will totally overmethylate again. Yep. You need to cut it way down to like two and two or two and one or something like that. Yeah. You're just filling up every deficiency in your body. Making and you've got a lot of them. Or you wouldn't be trying it. You wouldn't be listening to my Facebook Live. You'd be at a movie or at home watching TV you know, or, or we're going to Bible study or something tonight. Um, and, um, and yeah, yeah, you wouldn't be listening to me, I'll tell you that. Because you'd feel normal. Yeah. Um, what is normal nowadays, though? I don't know. There isn't really. I have yet to meet. Hey, I know they're out there. I'm normal. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I've yet to meet a normal person. Yeah. It's just not around anymore. Can anyone get the testing done, or is there certain ages that you should? No, the swabbing can. No, we have a, we have actually developmental Pro 7. Because is that, don't we have that still? Or? It's the Pro 7 now. This is the Pro 7, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we do it on babies all the time. Mm -hmm. What about yeah. the Spectre cell? Is there a certain age for that one? Yeah, probably 11 or 12 or yeah, above. Yeah, that's what I always think, like 12. Um, can you be taking too many vitamins? Yeah. So you should get a Spectre cell to know what you're really actually deficient in, right? It'll save you a lot of money, too. Mm -hmm. I know, weird. Yeah, you're going to spend six fifty, and but it'll save you money. Well, in the long run. Yeah. And you don't repeat them very often. Yeah. Every once in a while, I get someone so off the charts bad. I'm like, like number one, everything. how are you alive? Yeah. Number two, I now I know why you crawled into my office. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. So sad. And number three, I'd repeat this in four months. It takes 100 days. At least to change those levels. Yeah. And you get a really hammer and repeat in four months, unless you're feeling amazing. Uh, and let's make sure. Because yeah. these were bad. Makes sense. But that's rare. Very. Maybe one out of 30. Yeah. Or 40. Uh, is methyl B12 wrong for MTHFR and COMT? No. That's the best. No, I didn't saw hydroxycobalamin might be helpful in some COMT cases. But. I like the adenosyl. And I have the COMT airs. Do you want to kind of give your final wrap up and explain everything? Yeah, I want everyone out there to send me a Disney cupcake. <laughs> no, okay, no, the way, oh, wait, that's for another Overnight video. Overnight it. That's for another video. Never mind. Um, yeah, I mean, um, I don't know. I have a weird practice that's really unique. Um, I deal a lot with patients who really focus on their health. They've been looking for answers for a long time, and they've had really good doctors helping them. They're not me, but they're really good clinicians otherwise. Mm -hmm. And um, who've dug deep and tried to find out what they could. And they've gotten pretty good care. Rarely do I see bad care. Do I see care that I wouldn't do all the time? But that doesn't make it bad. But um, <clears throat> do they listen to you always and realize you want all natural stuff? No. But I do. And I realize that. And that's kind of where my practice is gone because I like it. I do it this way. I love you guys, and I listen to you, and uh, you know I do. Um, but so B12 deficiency is number one. Number two, or 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 um, or hormonal deficiency. I can't remember the, even the order of what I what I said earlier. But number three is anemia. Number four is hypothyroidism. Um, just you, you got to dig deep, and usually the spectra cells the first thing I'd get. 
So we're offering on sale, grab it. But yeah. I'll shut up about that. Sounds like I'm pimping it too much. Now. I really don't care what you guys do, just get better. Yeah. So if you want to try Super B or MT Tour Sport or, or Thorn Prenatal or whatever first, do it. Yeah. If it doesn't work, call my office to get the test. Yeah. We're just trying to make it easy for you guys. Yeah, and I love you all. So um, I love you all. Go in good health and God bless you all. Thank you. I'm going. I'm out of here. You have to sing him a little song. And to say sorry again about the audio. Uh, we'll upload everything yeah. again, and hopefully next time we'll get it perfect. And this is pretty juicy tonight, so you want to you want to re-listen to this yeah, at least twelve times. We'll, podcast. Yeah. we'll put the podcast up tomorrow. So yep. go go look podcast for podcast tomorrow in your car. Sing them the song of goodbye. <laughs> go goodbye, on. goodbye. Until we meet again. <laughs> <Just kidding. clears throat> My voice is hoarse from talking. <laughs> All right. Uh, Goodbye. Uh, Ciao.